What's up guys, Isaac here, and I want to start a new segment where I'm going to go over my favorite quotes. Um, my interpretation of the quotes, of course, and what I think they mean. So don't get by her, this is just my opinion, alright? So today let's kick it off with um, a quote by this lady called Aeneas Nin. I think that's how you pronounce it. I think it's a French name. So it could be different, but yeah, whatever. The quote goes, We don't see things as they are, we see them as we are. It's short and sweet. A very, very nice um, assertion right there. And I gotta agree with you 100%. Because let me, let me break down something for you guys. There is the objective world, the world of form, the world of photons, the world of electrons, the world of material, the world of uh, waves, and all that jazz that you can observe with a microscope scientifically and see that that shit's there all right you can use different ways of measuring to measure the energy and all that bullshit and you can see that these things are there. that's the objective world right but then there's the world that is created through our subjective experience and this world is completely different especially when you look at in regards to me and you and the next motherfucker it's completely different the world of form is the world of our experience you might have heard people ask the question of if a tree falls in the forest, does it make a sound? Well, it depends. It makes a sound if someone's there to hear it. Because sound is something from subjective experience. You need ears to be able to listen to sound. You need soft hands to be able to discern the difference between a hard surface and a soft surface. You need eyes to be able to ascertain the difference between darkness and light. So you need these tools in regards to our subjective experience. Your subjective experience is formed through your memories, your thoughts, your emotions, your neurochemistry, a bunch of things that are uniquely yours. That's why everyone's is different. It also goes back to the question that people ask is, is my red the same as your red? You might call it the same name, but is the actual color the same? There is no way of telling. These are the mysteries of consciousness. We don't know if how different our subjective experiences really are. You know what I'm saying? You dig? Anyway, so it also goes back to um, a video I made a while back about Plato's cave, about forms. It really helps you understand this concept. I'm, all go I'm not gonna go into details of that. You can check that out right, right here, right here. Make sure you watch our video, Papa John love you. Um, yeah, and uh, make sure you check it out. So, what I want to really dial down here before I end this video is since we can't know the objective world, it is a huge folly. Some of the greatest folly is to try and push your worldview onto someone else, assuming that your worldview is right. Just because you have certain beliefs and you think that a particular way of living or particular rules are true just because you're a zealot for some certain cause does not mean that the next person has to be because you have to understand everyone's subjective experience is different everyone's interpretation of the events in their life are different but a practical takeaway i want you to have from this video is since we can't know the objective truth the objective world we can often choose our own subjective experience so when you're in a situation you can always count on taking the positive interpretation to help you in that moment I'll give you an example let's say I wanted to approach a stunning girl a hot babe and I want to get her number a good positive outlook that I could take in my subjective experience is to assume that I'm confident that women love me that I am a man of value and I'm gonna be better off with the experience after I approach her it can either go good if it doesn't go too well it doesn't matter my ego is not damaged this belief will help me in that situation. Now, if I took a negative approach of low self-esteem and self-loathing, and I thought that she was gonna blow me away as soon as I talked to her and told me to fuck off, that's not gonna help me in that situation at all. As soon as I walk up, I'll fuck up. It kinda rhymed. As soon as I walk up, I'll stuff it up. So, in life, it's often good to take the positive outlook especially since you can decide how you view things because a positive outlook is going to help you another example is um, 
listen to me and my homies, we wanted to make a new star up in the garage. And we were planning on making millions of dollars and changing the world. A positive outlook that's going to help me, especially in this venture, is to assume that whatever I do is going to get repaid. That the amount of value I give out to the world is going to come back to me. And what we're doing is going to positively affect the world and it's going to be all great. We're going to make it. A negative subjective view is to assume that we're going to fail since 95% of businesses fail. We're going to waste our time. We're going to be in debt. It's going to be shit. For that particular venture, it's better to take the positive outlook because it's going to motivate you. It's going to make you do the necessary things to actually succeed. We can't know the objective truth. We don't, we don't know the objective truth. So take the subjective viewpoint that's going to help you. Okay? And this is also true about yourself. You can also build yourself in this way because your ego, your view of yourself is built off your experiences, like your memories, your thoughts, your emotions. And we know that memories, for instance, are notoriously bad, notoriously unreliable. I'm sure you guys have heard of how eyewitness testimonies are often disregarded because people tend to add details over the years. Each time you revisit the memory, you slightly change it, and you keep revisiting it over 10 years, and the memory is all kinds of fucked up. It's an abomination now. It's not even true. So when you look at the actual objective reality, maybe there was a camera that viewed something, and you have your own subjective idea of what happened, you might be amazed at how completely different the events really were and yet you believed it. So in this way, we can actually form our ego by taking the positive outlook on certain events in our lives, certain memories, certain emotions, and we can really change our trajectory in our life. I know a pretty deep video here, guys, uh, but I hope you guys take that and think about it. It's a fucking great quote. It's a freaking good series we wanna do here. Anyway, put your comments down below. Let's talk about it. Let's, let's vibe, let's bump and grind. Anyway, that's the video, guys. Peace. Do it! Just do it!